Oh, it's Friday the 13th, and I got an interesting video. Ranking the Jason masks. A couple of rules before I begin. The mask has to have physically appeared on Jason, so... Roy Burns and the hallucination Jason Tommy had in Part 5 are out. By the way, this, I've shown it off in other, another video before, but this is a custom-themed NES-style Jason mask I made. Now, with those rules being set, let's get this underway. Coming in dead last is... Uber Jason's mask. Don't like that. Just don't like the whole movie. It's not a very good look. And keeping that in with the theme of that movie, next comes the regular hockey mask from Part X. Again, just a horrible shape to it, followed by the one from Freddy vs. Jason. This mask just has a weird shape, and it looks horrible when shot from straight on. It's not so bad on certain angles, although this isn't a good angle. It just comes across as cheap-looking. Which brings me to the mask from Part 9. Now, this mask, eh, by itself, but it's the horrible makeup that really drags this mask down. So, Jason X, I mean, Jason 9, yeah, just bad mask it looks like it's fused onto his face the way it's dug in and everything. And this is slightly better, but part eight, the yellowed mask on the Jason that desperately needs a towel. It's not a bad shape to the mask, but it's too yellowed and I don't like the metal clamp things on the straps. It just not a very good looking mask. I don't know, that one some people seem to like. I tend to not care for it. Next and yeah, this is low on the list and I know I'm in the minority, but the part seven mask, I don't like the discoloring effect. I think too much of his face is showing, and despite the fact that they tried to take all the damage Jason took in previous movies into account, the bullet hole is missing, so yeah, it's, it's a case where there's just too much done to this mask. I, it's, not as bad as the previous, and it's decent in its own right, but for me, it's just a little too busy. Followed by the Part 2 sack head, which I do love the sack head because it's a generally creepy, eerie look. A sack head killer in a slasher movie is a good look. It's both generic and unique at the same time. Costume for that one, not so much, but just the mask is actually pretty good. Oh, let me try to situate myself. Okay, next I will go with... Pull it up. Part 3, the original hockey mask. This one set the trend. What more can I say about it? It gave Jason his iconic hockey mask. We wouldn't have 
Jason as we know him without that mask, so it deserves credit and a very high place on the list. Next, I'm going with the remake mask. I really like this. It's a great redesign. It's true to the original Part 3 mask, but it's aged in its own unique way, and it's a solid-looking mask. I'd actually like to get a replica of it and do a custom, cool custom, but then... The Part 6 mask, this is a, just an almost perfect mask all the way around. I'm not as big of a fan of the leather straps, but this was my first introduction to Jay Jason. So it's going to go pretty high on the list. And just great all-around mask. Now we're down to the line. And if you're following, there's only two masks left. Number two. Remake Sackhead. This just took the original concept of the Sackhead look and improved on it. The wrapped look. It just has a more imposing, intimidating look to it. It's legitimately scary looking. I don't know, this is just a great sack head, and like I said, the mo movie, if they had just given us this sack head Jason throughout the whole movie, and he finds the hockey mask at the end, I'd have been fine with it, because that sack head looks that good. But, finishing it off, my favorite Jason mask... The final chapter, which as you can see, my NES style mask was final very heavily final chapter inspired. I like it because it took what was so perfect about the part three mask, and yeah, he received the axe gouge at the end of part three, but the axe gouge in his blood on it, it just gave it such a unique personality that no other Jason mask has had. So, those are the orders of my favorite Jason masks. Which one's your favorite? Am I crazy that I put part seven so low and put a sack head so high? I don't know, just... Tell me down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Over and out.